All right, so what we have here is two exhaust housings. And the reason I'm making this video is I just bought, so this is a 0.82, and I just bought an eBay 0.63 exhaust housing. This is not it. This is actually for a 3582. My turbo is a 3076. Uh, but we can use this as a comparison. The major difference is just this diameter in here is larger on this one than it is on this one. But essentially, the one that's on my car is one of these, but for a 3076. Now, I had wondered, because you pay $1,000 for one of these from Garrett, and I paid $150 for one of these, presumably China, exhaust housings. A mate of mine just bought a Pulsar Turbo, and there was a video online, and we'll get to what it looks like up in there, of the Pulsar exhaust housing versus the Garrett. And what I think is that it's very easy or rather, I've seen some videos comparing a Pulsar uh, core to a Garrett core, Pulsar being a cheap Chinese turbo, basically a copy of a Garrett. And everybody measures the turbine and measures the compressor. What they don't do is they don't put the exhaust housing side by side. So what we're gonna have a look at here first is so in here uh i've got a torch with me so in here this shoulder is rounded right so it's probably hard to see on the video but the exhaust gas come around comes round, and there's a shoulder here now let's compare the Chinese exhaust housing. All right, I don't know whether you can see this on the camera, but it comes around, but instead of being rounded around here, this is a hard edge, okay? Now, this is a smaller AR, so smaller area over radius. Uh, and if we look here, this opening here is very small. If we look here, it's huge. So looking at them side by side, small, huge. Now, in theory, this is actually to fit a bigger turbo. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to say these are the same. Smaller opening here larger opening here there's this taper that runs all the way around no taper so it's a hard it's a hard edge all the way around here you know your gas comes in here and on that one over there it would spill over and hit your um, turbine wheel here it's a hard edge and it's got a very thin area to hit the blades here large opening can spill over in okay so that's the first thing that i've noticed and it kind of goes all the way around so let's have a look on this side so see how it's very it's hard to hold the torch and a phone at the same time but see how this area in here very deep inside there still very large opening and we'll have a look at this one it's not as bad in this area so it seems like the area it's it's actually opened up but it's uh it's not it doesn't go deep just there whereas on this one see how it's deep so obviously the aerodynamics 
of the Garrett is better. That's what you pay for. Now, let's have a look here. Okay. Garrett. Got to try and make this so that you can see it. Hang on. All right, Garrett. Look at the shape. So there's a bit of a wall there, but it goes down. So it goes down in here. It goes down up there. And so basically it's like, kind of like a big square with the corner cut off it. Okay. This one, and it's hard to, it's hard to do it without getting a shadow in there. All right, this one, is like a tiny square. Okay, so tiny square, big opening, big opening, tiny square. So that is down inside there. Look, my torch hardly even fits. My torch fits and rattles around. Okay, now obviously 0 0.82, 0 0.63, this will be smaller. But the way that it's shaped is totally different. See how this has got this, it's got like a valley in the bottom here that follows this valley around all the way around and follows into there. Um, so that's that bit and that's that bit. Oh, one thing I did notice actually on my Garrett is, um, so it's actually had a failure, which I've just noticed. So see there, that's actually a hole that's broken through the, uh, the wall. So again, we'll put them side by side. So there it is up the other way. That's the shape of the inlet tract, tracked on that one. And see this one, it's like a big square. And then, I mean, it's difficult to sort of compare these, uh, this part, but that was one of the biggest things was I saw people would put a turbo on the bench and they compare one to the other and the actual compressor would look very similar. They'd measure the blade sizes, the blade height, uh, you know, the inducer versus the exducer. But a lot of it comes down to the aerodynamics of your housings. Okay, so that's, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, if you thought this video was helpful, why not leave a like? If you have any questions, Feel free to also ask them below. And if you want to see more of my crappy videos, press subscribe. Thanks for watching.